In this video, we're going to be focusing on real and complex roots that can come just by looking at the graph itself. We start with a basic parabola, and we know that all parabolas have the basic form of y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So based on that, we should know that the degree for each of these is equal to 2. We also mentioned when we were looking at another way to define the degree and visualize it is that you can look at the number of directions that the graph travels. And we see that for each of these, the graph travels in two separate directions, no matter where that x-axis is or how the parabola is placed in, with respect to that x-axis, there's always two directions of that graph. So the question we're trying to get to then is how many roots are there for each of these graphs? As we take a look at our first graph, we see that there are in fact two different x-intercepts, so we know that there are two real roots and they are different uh, values of each other. Whereas for the second graph, we only have one x-intercept, so that means that there is one real root. However, when we've used our vocabulary terminology, we've called that a double root because the graph bounces off of that x-axis. Whereas for the third equation, third graph, you see that there is no x-intercept. So since there is no x-intercept, that means that there are zero real roots. There aren't any. But there still has to be a degree of 2, of course, because we've got the direction and you've got the degree of 2, that means that we are going to have two complex roots in this particular graph. And that comes because as you take a look at your parabola, it is opening away from the x-axis. Every time that happens with the graph, that will create for you two complex roots. Let's take a look at a cubic function to see what's happening. As we look at these three different cubic functions, you see that they all have a degree of 3 because they all have those three different directions that they travel. It's going up and then down and up. So again, the question we're trying to answer in this video is how many roots does this graph have? And so here for this graph, you can see that we have 1, 2, and 3 x-intercepts, which means that we have three real roots. All of them would be considered linear roots. Whereas for the second graph, I have one x-intercept and a second x-intercept, which means you have uh, two real roots, but one of them is a uh, double root. So you have one linear, that's the one on the left there, and then you have one double root. Now for the third graph, we see that we only have one x-intercept. So that tells us that we're going to have one linear root, and it's a real root. But again, you have this spot right here, where you have the parabola which is opening away. Therefore, that gives us two complex roots because as that graph has this little parabola piece that opens up away from the x-axis, that tells us that it has two complex roots. So when you're looking at a graph and you're asked to determine the degree and the number of real and complex roots from it, here are the things you have to remember. First of all, the degree is the number of directions a graph travels or you could add up the types of real roots and the number of complex roots. Um, and that takes some practice. So the number of real roots is just how many x-intercepts you have. It doesn't matter if it's a linear or double or triple, it's just how many different x-intercepts there are. And the number of complex roots is for every parabola piece, and I got that in quotations, opening away from the x-axis, that graph has two complex roots. So let's take a look at some graphs as our examples. And what you notice is that you have these two different graphs that we've looked at. They're moving in two uh, different directions, or in three different directions respectively, so that gives us the degree. But you zoom into this little piece down here that has this parabola part. And that parabola piece is what gives us the opening away aspect of it, as you can see in this. And if you were to just focus on this piece of the graph, and that was the only picture that you had, you didn't have anything else, you just had this piece of information or this piece of information, you would be forced to say, that it has two complex roots. That's why it's important that it's opening away from the x-axis and not towards, because if it was opening towards the x-axis, like this piece in this uh, cubic function, these graphs continue down, or, or parts of the graph continue down and would intercept the x-axis if that continued. So it's only the parabolas which open away that give you two complex roots. Here are some types of examples that you will see that you'll be expected to be able to do. So as we take a look at our graph, what we're going to focus on is the degree, the number of real roots, and the number of complex roots. So as we take a look at each, we see that we have a certain number of directions that this first graph travels. So the first graph travels in six different directions. That tells us that it has a degree of six.
Secondly, we look for the x-intercepts, and the x-intercepts looks like we have one, two, three, and four, so that would be there are four real roots. And now to find the uh, complex roots, what we look at is the parabolas which open away from the x-axis. So this parabola piece opens towards, this piece also opens towards, this piece opens towards, and so does that one, but this one in the middle-ish here, this opens away from the uh, x-axis, and that's what gives us our two complex roots. So that would be how you'd approach that problem. For the second example, as I take a look at it, I look at the number of directions it travels, and it looks like that there are seven different directions. So that tells us that we have a degree of seven. And to the question of number of real roots, there looks like there is one, two, three different x-intercepts, so that means that there is three real roots. It does not matter that this real root is a cubic root, um, it's a triple root as we've discussed before, that does not matter when we're asking this question, so it's just the number of x-intercepts. Now I look for complex roots, which would be the parabolas open away, this is towards it, towards it, and towards it, but it's this one right here that tells us that we are opening away from the x-axis, and that gives us two complex roots. Finally, our third graph, and as we take a look, we're looking at the number of the directions in order to determine what the degree is. That also looks like it travels seven different directions, so the degree is going to be seven. And as we take a look at the number of real roots, again, that's the number of x-intercepts. Looks like there are three different x-intercepts here, so we have three real roots. And we look for our parabolas, which are opening away from the x-axis, and that actually occurs in two different locations here. This first spot here, it opens away, and that gives us two complex roots. And this other parabola opens away from the x-axis, and that gives us two complex roots for a total of four complex roots. And that's what you do when you're trying to take a look at a graph and determine the degree, the number of real roots, and the number of complex roots. Notice that the number of complex roots is always going to be even because you're always going to have two complex roots co that come from each of these parabolas. It's not possible to have an odd number of complex roots. Also, what you notice is that these numbers, the 4 and the 2, might add up to 6 for the degree, but they might not. Like this one is 3 and 2 for the middle example. Three real roots, two complex roots does not add up to 7. That's because this is a triple root. That doesn't make a difference for us when we're trying to write down the number of real roots uh, we just look at the number of x-intercepts.